Um, most American Muslims who are reverts uh, have a similar story if they were around at not during 9-11, um, where you're kind of like, who are these people and why did they do this? And you start Googling it. And like in my case, I'm pulling it up on the computer because uh, I'm seeing it on TV, you know, Islamic terrorists. And I'm like, what is Islamic? I mean, what is Islam? And the funny thing is I knew Muslim people. You know, I had Muslim friends. But, you know, you think it's like Christian, Christianity. Jewish, Judaism. Hindu, Hinduism. Buddhist, Buddhism. Buddhism. And, you know, Muslim, Muslimism, you know. Uh, yeah, I didn't know the word Islam. I really didn't even know the word Islam yet. And this was 2001, the day of September 11th. Yeah, because my son was at school. I was at work. We left everybody. We just shut down work. And I came home because I got a notification. My son was going to be coming home. So I get on the computer. I thought he's going to, he's, he was in fifth grade. I thought he's going to have tons of questions, right? So I, I better start looking this up. You know, if he asks, who did this? Why did they do this? All this. I need to have all this information, right? So I'm looking it up online. Um, what is Islam? And the first thing that pops up, and this had this not pop, if something else had popped up, I may not even be Muslim right now. Um, literally, the thing that popped up that I, the first thing I clicked on, the first link I clicked on, what came up on the screen was like, you ever see The Simpsons where it's like that cloud and it says The Simpsons comes out of the cloud. Um, it was sort of like that, only what came out, it says Islam equals sign peace. Islam equals peace. I was sitting at my kitchen table and right over the, my laptop is the TV in the family room. And I'm watching the towers falling for like the 50th time in, you know, that they've repeated it on CNN. And I'm like, that doesn't look peaceful. Who are these people? So that made me, the fact that that popped up made me want to keep looking. So I clicked on some more and then I'm like, well, it doesn't look peaceful. And then I'm reading, well, what did they believe and or what are they called? And then it said the people who follow Islam are Muslims. I'm like, wait, my friend Mo is Muslim? Cool. So that, that made me keep reading and keep reading. And then I uh, came across a couple different um, verses out of the Quran. And so then when my son got home, <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, honey, do you want to talk about all this? He goes, about what? I said, well, you know what happened? He goes, oh, yeah, like a plane hit, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Can I go over to Keith's house? And <laughs> sure. Play basketball. All right. I just kept reading. I was fascinated. And I'm like, well, what do these people actually believe? It said, uh, you know, that they pray to God, and God in the Arabic is Allah, but it's the same God as Jews and Christians pray to because it's an Abrahamic religion. I'm like, okay, so it's sort of like a branch. Okay, cool. I was in Morocco for a while, and I went to a Catholic church in Morocco and opened up a Bible, and it was in Arabic. Wait, you know, I'm looking, and I said, wait, that says Allah. Because I recognize the, what Allah looks like in Arabic. I don't read Arabic, but I know a few of the, I can recognize some of the words. And I said, that says Allah. He goes, well, yeah. I said, but it's Catholic. <laughs> it's Christian. He goes, yeah, but this is an Arabic-speaking country. I said, wait, so Christians in Arab countries say Allah? He goes, well, yeah. Why would they say God? That's an English word. Like, oh, okay. I kept reading, and I'm like, well, I pray to God. I don't pray to Jesus. I'm like, well, then who is Jesus? Do they believe in Jesus? You know, and they. And so I'm reading like Islam and Jesus and said they believe that Jesus is the greatest of all prophets, that he will come and judge the living and the dead on judgment day and all these things that Christians believe. And I'm like, well, what the heck's the difference? This seems like a part of Christianity. Is there any difference other than the scarf? You know, and a lot of Christians wear scarves. You go to like South America, women are wearing scarf, head scarves to get, you know, to go into a Catholic church. I don't wear it very much in public unless I'm going to be at a Muslim event. If it's going to be all Muslims, then yeah, I wear a head scarf. If I'm not going to be around Muslims, I still dress, you know, modestly. I don't, you know, wear short skirts or, you know, I wear long pants and long sleeves and loose garments, you know, but I won't wear a headscarf because people are cool with a tunic and leggings <laughs> and my long, beautiful hair flowing, but I put it in a bun and wrap a scarf around it and suddenly I'm a terrorist. So like, really? 
come on, man. I went to high university in Reynoldsburg High School, and you know I'm as much Ohio as anybody else here. I had a guy um, uh, come up from behind me, and I didn't even see him. And he came up from behind me, and he said, um, I had to defend effing terrorist whores like you in Afghanistan. And I start to turn my head to see, because I didn't even know he was there. I have my shopping cart headed toward my car, and I start to turn around. And as soon as I do, he takes you know my head and just bashes it down, and those little bolts that stick up, you know, it hit and went like that and cut me. He goes running, and so these two, um, what I thought were young African American kids, teenagers, take off after him, literally jump on top of him to make him, you know, to stop him in his place. So they bring him back, these two kids. Turns out the two kids, they're not just a couple young African American teenagers, they're Somali immigrants, refugees, Muslims. And they saw a Muslim sister being hurt. You know, that's how Islam is. Like when it comes down to it, we look out for each other because we're all considered, you know, a pariah in the society. Oh, and I've had, uh, you know, just weird looks and people walking by and flipping you off and, you know, just you name it. Like I was coming out of a Meyer store and uh, I'm walking out. She's walking in. All of a sudden I feel this and she's pulling my scarf and she goes, I'm liberating you. <laughs> she goes and tries to pull it off. I'm like, ow, you know, I'm like, you're choking me. She's like literally yanking at it. And she goes, she goes, there's no reason you shouldn't have a, you shouldn't let any man make you wear that. I said, lady, I'm single and there is no man right now in my life. And, you know, and if there was, if he told me to wear it, I would probably choose not to because he told me to. And she goes, right on sister. <laughs> And I said, let me explain how this works, you know. And so I explained that it's, you know, it's uh, it's not totally obligatory, you know, like it's it's totally a woman's choice if she chooses to wear it or not. That's why a lot of Muslim women in Western countries, we do, we wear it sometimes, you know, some wear it all the time, some don't wear it at all. She was actually progressive. She was a Bernie supporter, it turns out. Yeah. Who knew? And, uh, you know, and she goes, I'm so sorry. She finally did apologize. I'm so sorry. I said, well, next time, don't just go up and rip things. Up. That's assault. You know, that's that's kind of illegal. And he ripped my scarf and she offered to pay for it. I'm like, no. Nah.